Hello everyone. Uh, I thought I'd come on today to talk about the side effects of sepsis. As a sepsis survivor myself and losing all four limbs to sepsis, um, a lot of people don't know about it. And just because I've lost my limbs and had it quite severe doesn't necessarily mean that um, I would get the symptoms. Some people that have had minor sepsis still get the symptoms of what's called PSS, post sepsis syndrome. I've had a lot of them, an awful lot of them. Um, there are so many. I will put a, a little slide with the um, physical and the emotional side effects of sepsis on after the video. But just wanted to remind you as it's sepsis awareness month, um, I'm not going as crazy about the awareness because of my um, my grieving for the Queen. I am actually quite upset about her death. And out of respect, I'm trying to keep it a little bit lower, but still wanted to explain about all the side effects that we can suffer from. I had depression and I was on antidepressants for a very long time. I think that helped me to gain an awful lot of weight which I've now lost and I'll explain about that in another video. I used to have nightmares, PTSD. Um, I had poor concentration. It's affected my memory um, quite a lot actually. I have mood swings. Um, they're all side effects from sepsis. Um, so it's not just about getting ill it's it's kind of what it leaves you with as well and a lot of people have that so just be aware of the um symptoms of sepsis extreme uh, shivering severe breathlessness confusion feeling like you are going to die not passing urine in 24 hours and of course you might also get i didn't um mottled or discolored skin that won't blanch when you put a glass on it Please, please keep yourself safe, keep your loved ones safe and just keep telling everybody about sepsis so that everybody learns about it. Let's stop all these thousands of deaths worldwide every single day. Thank you. Take care.